Hello, Josue. Hello, Josue, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, good, good, good. Hello, let me see who else I have here. Um, oh, Mauricio, hello, Mauricio. Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, how are you? Fine, fine. Uh, teacher, I'm sorry for yesterday. I can't join the class because I have to do a lot of work. I understand. Yeah, it happens sometimes. So yeah, don't worry about it. I, I totally understand. But thank but you um, for for letting me know. Were you able to see the 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 um, class online? Yes. YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube. Were you able to see it? Yes, it's right. I see. I see it. I, okay. Good. 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 I did my I did my homework for yesterday, <laughs> but I did. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Good. Hello, Roxana. How are you? Hi, can you hear us, Roxana? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, good. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm good. I'm good. I am, um, yeah, nice, relaxed. <laughs> today, today was a very, um, what's the word? It was a relaxing day. It was really relaxing. I it was not stressful at all today. So, um, yeah, I, I'm 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 nice and, and relaxed right now. Yeah. Today you look uh, different. You look great. <laughs> oh, thank you. Your hair. <laughs> oh Your yeah, hair. it's just yeah. Hair. I I I let my hair down today. Before you you've always seen it high up, but today I, I let it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Um, so, uh, were you able to work on the platform, Roxana? Yes. You are in section three, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> My goodness, I think I think by Monday you're going to be finished the whole the whole platform. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm I'm very impressed. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, did you have it? Have you had any problems so far, Roxana, with with the platform? Any questions? I know oh, that no. you. I, I know that you had some questions yesterday, um, and I asked you to send. Um, I asked you to send the 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 picture last time. I don't, but I didn't receive anything. Um, have did you solve the problem? I didn't send uh, you my 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 uh, doubt, but I <clears throat> will try to to listen again the audio, the the audio, yeah. and and I will tell you about okay if I possible for me to answer or no. Okay. Okay. No problem. If you find that there is a problem um, and you want, like, you still want to know what's the problem, just just take some um, some screenshots and send them to me so that I can help you because I don't know exactly what is the answer that you're writing down. So if I know the answer, I can tell you what the problem can be. Okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. Any other questions? No, everything was okay. <laughs> okay, good, good. All right, what about you, Josue? Are you finished uh, with uh, section one in the platform? Yes. 
good. Okay, did you have any problems with section one from the platform? No, I think I think it's everything's good. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, all right. Um, and Mauricio, have you finished with uh, the platform? Sorry, sorry. Yes. Sorry, let me let me let me rephrase that. <laughs> Not have you finished the platform? Have you finished section one in the platform? Yeah, I finished this sec the section one teacher. Yes. Wonderful. Okay, good. Just today. And <laughs> good, good. Any problems? No, any problems for the moment. Okay, good. I'm happy to hear that. Remember, the, if we go like we're supposed to in the platform, like you know, section by section. Uh, when we're supposed to do it, then at the end of the of the course, we're not rushing, you know, because lots of students are like the last day of the last day of class are asking me, teacher, how do you do this? Hey, teacher, how do you do that? And you know, by that time, it's just so difficult because there are so many different um, questions, right? So, uh, you know, there's so many activities, and and it's very difficult. So if we do it one as we should be doing it, then that's better, okay? Okay, um, so yesterday um, we were talking a little bit about how to make um, how to make like requests when we are using models, right? Uh, no, sorry, not models. Phrasal verbs, sorry. When you're using phrasal verbs, and we did note, we did talk about using some models, right? Uh, for example, do you remember that there was can? What was the other model? Could, could, and will. Right. Okay, will. good. So three, right? Okay. Yes. So, so could, can, and, and would, right. Okay. So those were the ones that we use when we want to make a request. And it's a very polite request. Okay. So normally, if you were just talking to your friends so or your family, somebody that is very close to you, then you would just say um please blah 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 for example please um take out the garbage right maybe you're saying that to your um you know your son your daughter take out your please take out the garbage or you could say um you could be saying it to um your husband your wife you know please take out the garbage um, so that's normally how we how we do it when we are um, talking to people that we have a, a big familiarity with. We just do, use the word please. Now we normally use the word please at the beginning, but it's also possible to use it at the end. So we could say, take up the garbage, please. But uh, as I was explaining yesterday, I, it would be better if if you can say that at the beginning if you can say the please at the beginning and the reason why it's better is because when the person hears the word please at the beginning it doesn't sound like it's like an order it sounds more like they are um like it's it's it, you know you're just asking for a favor right so um it's they will be more willing to do it right but yes it's okay to like grammatically speaking there is no po no problem in saying please at the end okay 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 and we talked about using can could um would. and would right how do you use can could and would normally In other words, what's the structure? Oh, for example, could you could you pick up could you take out the garbage? Exactly. Could you take out the garbage? So we use uh, yeah, please. <laughs> exactly. We can um, use the word please um, at the end, right? So um, could you please uh, sorry, could could you take out the garbage, please? Okay, um, and that is normally the model, right? So we have could or can or would, plus the subject. Normally, the subject is going to be you. Normally, uh, because you're asking, you're you're at, you're requesting 
something from the second person, right? So whether you is one person or you many people, right? Like like in Spanish, ustedes, right? So it could, but still, it's go, normally you're going to be using the um, the subject you, okay? Um, that's normally how we do it, but it is possible to use for like, um, could he, could she, right? That's also possible. Um, and then we use the verb in the base form of the verb. And it's very important that you remember that because could, would, and can, all of those ver uh, those are model auxiliaries. And the rule in English is that 100% of the time, like all the time, we are going to be using would, or better said, with models, we use the base form of the verb. So after the base form, uh, after the verbs um, that are models, we're going to be using the verb in the base form. So that's why it doesn't matter if it's if it's a phrasal verb or another verb, it's always going to be in the base form of the verb. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, is your I understand. Okay, good. I understand too. Excellent. And the last thing that we talked about yesterday was using would plus subject plus the verb mind. So whenever you say, would you mind? Would he mind? Would they mind? Um, normally, uh, it, well, better said, when we use that, 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 um, that verb, that specific verb, mind, the next word that we use is a gerund, okay? So for example, we say, would you mind helping me? Would you mind calling the office? Uh, would you mind um, paying in cash? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. I understand. Yes, teacher. Any questions about that? No. I don't have questions. Okay. Um, so everybody is clear about the, the what we saw yesterday, the the um, using please when it's a person that you're familiar with using can, could, and would, plus the, the, the subject, plus the base form, and using would you mind, and then the gerund. Is that clear for everybody? Hi, teacher. Maybe you, uh, no, maybe you uh, give me more examples. examples. Okay. Uh, sure, no problem. Examples about what, Judith? Uh, is there a specific the, structure that you want more examples about or everything? The, the mine, with mine. Oh, okay, with would you mind? Yeah. Sure. Okay, let's use the whiteboard. Okay, let me know when you can see the whiteboard. Yes. I yes, can right now. I can right now. Great. Okay. Um Okay, let's see. So uh So polite polite Ah, sorry. Polite requests okay so um, remember what I told you we're always going to the the model that we're going to be using with is going to be with wood okay so I'm going to start with that and I'm going to write with all of them wood I'm going to give you you know I'll give you five sentences so it's pretty clear. So I'm going to write wood five times. Okay. All right. So we're going to start the sentences with wood. Like I said before, normally uh, the, the 
the subject that we're going to be using you it's going to be used most of the time okay but in a rare occasions we, we could use something else right so just for the sake of it i'm going to be using you for most of them and we'll use um you know they he and she you know but most of the time it's going to be you like you singular you're you plural okay but just so that you can see how this works we're going to leave it like that okay and then we're always going this is all this only works with the with the um with the verb mind not with any other verb it's mind so we're always going to have mind oops and mind 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 okay all right so would you mind would you mind would they mind would he mind would she mind okay um, and then after that, the verb, whatever verb follows here, it, or better said, whatever activity follows, is going to be in the gerund form, okay? So I'm going to say, would you mind um, helping? Would you, would you mind um, telling? Would you mind um, cooking? Oh, would they mind? No. Would they mind? Um, a, would they mind setting up? Okay. And you know what? I'm going to start. Just um, I, I wanted you to see that this is. Um, the, the, you know, you can use it with any verbs at all, but, you know, it's also possible to use it with phrasal verbs, as we have been learning, like set up. Set up is a phrasal verb. Do you guys understand what it means to set up? No, teacher, I can't remember. Or is it me? No, uh, I don't know what's the meaning. Nobody remembers? No teacher. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, to put something on on the place or order. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That you you have the idea. Exactly. Um. So set up means to like um. A organize, organize. Uh, display, display, uh -huh. um, a, connect. Sometimes it could be connect, right? Depending on the um, install, could also be, right? It depends on the context, right? So, for example, setting up a, a computer, okay, to set up a computer would be like to install and connect everything right but setting up for example um we can um we can set up um the back screen right maybe we 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 um maybe we're i don't know we're filming a movie or something like that right when we have a backdrop okay so we can set that set it up so it means like display right or it can be all, also organized okay does that make sense yeah it's uh, an example uh, i remember that i heard about that is uh, you uh, please set up the the table for dinner when you put the plates and right yeah um yeah, normally though in that one we say set the table. Not set so much, table. we don't use the, the word up so much, but we can oh. say usually set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's possible. Okay, all right. Let's continue with the other one. Um, another one could be, uh, would he mind? 
um, turning down. Would she mind um, looking after? I'm sorry, looking, looking after. Okay. So I've I've used. I mean, there are many other possibilities. I've just used like I, and I want you to understand that 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 here I've used phrasal verbs, but it can it can work with any other verb. Okay. And then finally, we would use the complement, right? Okay. So, uh, for example, with the first one, would you mind helping, um, helping? Would you mind helping me on a? Would you mind help helping me um, fix? Hang on. I won't make it so complicated. Would you mind helping me on yeah. this Teacher, would you, would you mind helping me uh, in homework? Sure. The homework. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that could be. I'll, I'll, I'll change that. Would you mind helping me um, with the homework? Right? Uh, would you mind telling us uh, what he told you? Would you mind telling us what he told you? Would they mind set setting up um, the... Um, sorry? Would they mind setting up the printer okay sure would you would they mind setting up the printer okay uh would he mind turning down the volume okay. uh would she mind looking after uh my son for a couple of hours etc etc so there you go those are some of the sentences that we could put here so we're always going to be using the would the subject always mind and whatever the 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 activity is it's going to be in the gerund form and remember what i told you this was from the first day of class that what you are or yesterday i don't remember actually well one of the two anyways uh what we are going to be agreeing is the main verb not the particle okay so in the case of setting up set up we're going to use the gerund for set not for up so it's not going to be set upping that, that wouldn't work okay it has to be setting up all right sure. and then over here we have the complement sounds good yes yes teacher thank you Okay, good. Teacher, um, teacher, I have yeah. a question. Sure. Uh, where is the mean uh, the word when you use in the sentence? Would you mind? Yes. Would you mind? What is the mean? You mind? You but you mean what's the meaning like? Uh, like you want me to tell you in Spanish? Yes, please. Sure. That what basically it's like when you say, um, "Te importaría?" Eh, Le importaría? Okay. That's what. Would you mind? Okay. For example, okay. Say, in this case, it would be, eh, "Te importaría ayudarme en con la tarea?" Um, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. All right. Anything else? No, did you? For the moment. Yes, teacher. What is the difference in the wool with the coal? Um, if you're going to, if you're not going to use the mind, using wood and could 
is almost the same, with the exception that could is more implying that you have the ability. Okay? So, saying, could you do this for me means, do you have the ability? Um, and then would is just simply more general. Okay? Okay. Yeah? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. All right, so what we're gonna do is the following. Yesterday, I got you guys to work in groups, or better said in pairs, and create a conversation. Today, you're gonna do the same thing, except, <coughs> excuse me, except that you're going to be um, making requests, okay? So you're going to be um, talking to your classmates and you're gonna be making requests from your classmates, okay? Now, preferably, I think it would be better to use the models, would, could, and can, and not just using please, because we're talking about your classmates and most likely, with your classmates, you're not like the best of friends, right? So there's not so much of a familiarity. It's more, um, you know, there's more of a, uh, like a formality. Does that make sense? Yes? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I, I think, think yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, so basically what I'm just saying is I would like you to work using with the can, could, and, and would, uh, one, to practice, right, using those forms, and two, because I want you to um, consider who you're talking to, and since you're talking to somebody that it's probably not your, your a very, very close friend or your family, then it would be, it would be better or... Uh, more appropriate if we were going to be using more the can, could, or, or would. And I would like you to use one of each, okay? So in the conversation, use one with can, one with could, one with would, and one with would you mind, okay? Sounds good? Okay. <laughs> Okay, all right, so let's assign you. Um, let's see, I'm going to get you guys to work. Let's see. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, there you go. You can, op you can join your groups now. Maybe um, can you pick up some? Uh, can you pick up? Can you pick up some? Vegetable, the supermarket. Can you pick up? I the don't. Vegetable. Yeah, yeah. The vegetable. Can you repeat the okay. sentence in post? 
-hmm. Okay. Can you pick up some vegetable vegetable um, from the vegetable. yeah? From the... Excuse me, but uh, don't worry. Okay, from the supermarket. Just remember that um, the verb is, uh, sorry, the, the word is vegetables. So three syllables. Vegetable. Veg vegetable. Vegetable. Yeah. Vegetable. So okay. don't don't say it. Don't don't say vegetables because um, otherwise it's going to be four syllables, right? That's going to be vegetables, right? That's four. It's vegetables. Veg Right. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're Thanks, welcome. Teacher. <laughs> uh, you, Mauricio, give me one sentence with the can. Can. Yes. Yes. Um. Can Can you turn off? The TV, please. Do you hear? Okay. Mm. Uh, will Can you turn you... on the TV? Okay. Will. Okay, will. Will you? Mind helping me later? Would you mind? Would you mind helping? Mind helping me? Helping? Uh, help. Yeah. Later. Remember, later. Later. Yeah. Later. Okay. And for, oh, example, okay. for example, in the meeting uh, uh, for today, uh, with the uh, uh, what or oh, any enterprises, uh, enterprises, so it's the empresa enterprise. 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 And for tomorrow, another meeting with another enterprise. And in, in, in all the day, uh, how you meeting with the different enterprises? Okay, sounds good. And um, by the way, where do you live? Ah, I live in Santa Ana. Oh, okay. but, uh, I work in San Salvador. Traveling every day. Would you like to live in San Salvador? Uh, no, I don't like. I prefer uh, living in Santa Ana uh, because in San Salvador the traffic is terrible. Yes, yeah, uh, yes, a lot of traffic. A lot of traffic. Traffic jam. And, but and the the travel the Santa Ana to San Salvador. Is complicated with the traffic, uh, but yeah, I think. in uh, in the, the morning or the evening, it's a lot of traffic. But when you arrive to Santa Ana, it's different. It's more quiet, and you read. It's, uh, it's quieter. Remember, quiet. Quieter. Mm -hmm. Quieter. Okay. And what do you live, Josué? I live in San Salvador, San Salvador, but my heart is in Santa Ana because my favorite team is Club Deportivo Paz. <laughs> Ecole. Yes, my father yeah. born in Santa Ana, so I think that is the reason uh, that the Club okay. Deportivo Paz is my favorite team. Just, your remember, just remember, Josue, eh, 
was born. Not just born, but was born. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Your father, your father is twice perfect. Yes, times perfect. Y su clave. Ah, bueno, entonces este me estaba diciendo que el tema entonces realmente es para una forma de las de ah, pero no sé si usted ha estudiado acerca de ese tema de de, eh, uh, de, de hacer preguntas de forma polite usando no, no, Google no. Good uh, va a ser difícil sí va a estar bien complicado este sin embargo este no sé una forma Uh, Hi, Natalie. Any questions that you have? Yes, teacher. Uh, Natalie uh, wasn't sta to study. Was to wasn't to study. No, wasn't. Yeah, wasn't. I don't puedo decir. Estuvo en la clase de ayer. No estuvo, uh, oh, she wasn't in yesterday's class. Yesterday, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> y, y no he estudiado tampoco en la plataforma. She hasn't studied it. Del el tema. Try, try to, to always remember to, um, to keep it in English. It will be easier for you. Okay? So to keep it in English. Um, let me see if I can... Just give me a second. Um, let me see if I can. No, I can't. I'm trying to send the picture, but let me see if I can copy, copy and paste. I'm going to send you the picture of the whiteboard from yesterday. Basically, Natalie, with um, when we are making polite questions. Um, there are the two forms that you can make polite questions. One is when you, the person um, that you're asking, or it's not actually polite questions, they're actually requests. Okay? So um, one of the ways is when the person that you are asking the request is somebody that you know very well. Okay. Um, in that case, um, you can just use the word please. Okay, so for example, please take out the garbage. Please help me. Please turn the volume down. Please turn on the computer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's that's one way. The other way is um, to use to talk about, um, or better said, when you are asking somebody that you don't know sorry, that you don't know very well, right? So almost like a stranger, let's say. Okay, if it's a stranger, then you would, you would say, um, you know, would you, could you, um, can you? So those are the, the four, sorry, the three that we would use. Would, would you, could you, can you? Okay, and then the verb, the next verb will be in the base form. And the, la the last thing that we learned about is that with, with would, it's also possible to use would you mind? And after would you mind, we can use the gerund, okay? So that's basically what we learned yesterday. I'm, I'm trying to open right now the picture so I can, let's see if I can share it with you. And let's see, just give me a moment. Hola, eh, yo tengo una poca, mucha, mucha eh, dificultad para entender el inglés. Entonces, algunas palabras, muchas palabras no logré comprender, otras sí. Entonces, y como he faltado un poquito a clase, entonces a la clase de ayer, la hora que entré un poquito tarde, eh, no logro estar bien el tema. O sea, la dificultad de crear la que tengo, yo creo que tengo que repasar. Eh, las clases que están en la plataforma según me dicen 
este, practicar más el inglés para poder entender. Yes, Natalie, that's, that's the, the idea with this class, right? That the more, the more English you speak, the more you will practice, the better you will get, be at it, right? So, um, yeah, that you have, you're going to have to, uh, like, obligate yourself, basically, to speak in English, even though it may be very, very difficult for you at the beginning, but the more you practice, the easier it's going to become, okay? So don't, um, don't worry if, okay, right now, all right. Um, Natalie, I just sent the image right now. It's in the chat. Can you see it? No, 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 no escuché bien. Okay, in the chat, right now, I just sent the image of yesterday's class. There's like a picture. Can you see it in the, in the chat? Sí, sí, no. sí, estoy en el chat. Okay. Yes, but, but, but the chat, the there chat isn't a picture. Zoom. But the chat in Zoom. Sí, sí, estoy en el chat. Okay, so can you see the picture? English Corporativo by Real International SADCB. <laughs> I can see that. Huh? I can see uh, only the English Corporativo, the, the, I don't know how can I say, uh, the logo. Hello. In our in, in the screen. No. On the screen. But did you go to the chat? El chat de el chat aquí en Zoom. Yes. You can and you can see the picture. We are in the chat. What picture? Picture about what, teacher? Okay, in el, in el chat que está aquí en, en Zoom. Ya, ya sabe entrar al chat de, de Zoom. Sí, sí. Okay, allí acabo uh -huh. de mandar un documento. Dice imagen 2. Bueno, yo lo puedo ver. Yes. Rosana, can you see it? Yes, in the chat. Ajá. Uh -huh. And at the... Uh, at the right of the uh, of yours, the the screen, uh, I can see the the link. Right. Okay. Good. I if you open if you open it, you will be able to see. Natalie, you need to click in the chat. Yes. And you... mm -hmm. Continue. Sí, no me aparece nada. En el chat no me aparece nada. Pero no el chat de WhatsApp, sino que en Zoom. Sí, sí, pero sí. Este, en ese no no aparece en el chat es uno I can see mm. image image two ah uh -huh, es sí, no. dos yes no Natalie no 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 me aparece nada hmm. Okay, uh, so I'm going to send it directly to you. Okay. Okay, I just sent it so that, so that everybody can see it. Um, Al correo me lo envería. No, 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 it's the, Será que no tiene habilitado para 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 ver mensajes en en el chat? Voy a escribir no para deja. ver. Pero eso es parte de Zoom, creo yo. Uh -huh, pero ahí en, en pero la mi... parte de abajo aparece Natalie. Bueno, sí, en mi pantalla. Un mensaje para ver si pueden verlo ustedes. Porque yeah. no me. Yeah, sí, no me sí, eh. Hola. Yeah, Ajá. I can see. Ajá, pero ahí no me aparece ninguna imagen. Hmm. Ok. 
Okay, all right, Natalie, do me a favor. Uh, send me, send me a, send me a text via a WhatsApp. So it says, mm -hmm. just say hi, I'm Natalie, and then I will send it to you directly. Okay, to your to your WhatsApp. Sí, aquí está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Este, no sé cuál es su número. It says Jessica Herrero. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aparece como JJ. No, Jessica Herrero. Sí, ya la encontré. Ya la encontré. Okay, you'll leave your message. Okay. All right, I'm going to send it to you, but um, not right now, later, because we're going to go to the, to the uh, main session right now. Okay. Okay. All right, let's just wait for the others to come. Hi, teacher. Hi. Well, just gonna wait for almost every, oh, let's, let's just wait for everybody else to join. Oh, I was waiting for everybody to join and I just noticed that I hadn't stopped the other groups, but that I think everybody will join in a moment. Okay. Okay, guys, excellent. Um, so what we're going to do right now um, is I would like to know if there are any groups that would like to share their conversation. Uh, sorry, teacher, I don't hear clear. Um, I asked if there is any any group that would like to share their conversation. Okay. Anybody? No? You're being very shy today. Nobody wants to share? Hi, teacher. I, I can feel. You, you want to share your conversation, Mauricio? Yes, but uh, it's a uh, it's a not conversation, it's the sentences. And I can read the sentences. Okay, um, but you, you were, who were you working with, Mauricio? Excuse me? Who were you working with? Uh, with Judith. Okay, did you practice with Judith, the, 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 the sentences or the whatever you did? Yes, I can, I can say the first sentence with okay. Judith saying. Okay, so Judith, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, go for it. Uh, 
you did, can you turn turn on the TV, please? Yes. Um, my sentence. Yes. Now. Uh, so Mauricio said, um, could you turn off the TV, right? So what is the answer that you're going to give him, Judith? Oh, yeah. Uh, would you me, me, mind helping me? Uh, would you mind helping me? Yes, with, with that. the dinner I I I can help you can can you pick out some better cover sure I I pick up okay will you come to my house later Of course, I I am going, I am okay. going, I am going. Bah, ya me trago. <laughs> My house. <laughs> uh, okay, Mauricio. And okay. you can you turn around the TV, please, for me? <laughs> yes, I will. All right. Okay, and thank you. Would you mind would you mind getting the house in this moment? The sentence is correct, teacher. Can you repeat that one? Yes. Of course. Uh, would you mind would you mind get in the house? Would you mind getting in the house? Getting in the house. Yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just make sure getting. Would you mind getting? getting? Uh, sorry. No, it's okay. It's good. And uh, the final sentence is: Would you do my homework? Would you do my homework, please? You did. Thank you. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I will. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank good. You. She, she decided, she finally decided yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, excellent. Very good. Bravo. Bravo, guys. Very, very good. Okay. Um, excellent. Just remember um, that when you're, when somebody is asking you for, like, requesting something of you, um normally that's that request is for the future right it's not for the it's it, it's going to be something you're going to do in the future even if it's the near future so that's why you're going to say yes i will or sure i will okay um so remember usually we we answer with the will okay but that's good excellent very okay. very good guys any questions so far no any questions no okay good all right guys what we're gonna do this last few these last few minutes of class we're going to learn something very 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 simple um about expressing purpose okay and this is something that you can start looking at for section number two okay that you can start this. Um, so this is Just 
asking my mom. Okay. This is to express uses and purposes. Okay. So when when I use when I'm talking about uses is how you use something. Okay. Or or why you use something, better said why use it. And the purpose, well, the purpose is like the objective, right? So when you explain the purpose or the, uh, the use of something, what we do is we say, for example, um, we can say um, a curling, for example, a curling iron. Do you guys know what a curling iron is? No teacher, what is the meaning? Curling teacher is the hair. The hair and iron is the, is the object with you, the clothes. Uh, when do you wash the clothes? The iron. The planchet. Uh, the curling iron is a, a planche de pelo. Yes, you're, you have the idea, exactly. Curling iron is a device that people, that um, normally women use um, to be able to make curls, right? curls like like my curls you know curls all right so that's curling iron okay so we can say a curling iron is used okay is used and then we can say we, there are two ways that we can express the use and or the, or the purpose okay there are two ways the first way is so by the way how do you say this in spanish curling iron how would you say that? Uh, it's for... Is for... Any idea what is a curling iron? No, is there any idea? <laughs> okay uh, well um in in spanish we say rizador or rizador de pelo yeah does that make sense Yes. Okay, so cool. okay, so we have a curling iron is um give me a moment. Okay, a curling iron is used and then we can we can um, express this in two different ways. We can either use we can either say um, a curling iron is used to make, for example, to make uh, curls in your hair okay curls in your hair okay. or another possibility would be um, a curling iron is used to make or oh, sorry is used to and instead of saying to make we can say for making 
that's another option for making curls in your hair okay so those are the two ways we can do it. we can say a curly iron a curling iron is used to make curls in your hair or a curling iron is used for making curls in your hair so those this right here expresses expresses the use or the purpose of an object okay um, so if you notice we can either use the two plus the infinitive or the four plus a gerund okay so basically that's what we're going to be so the structure here would either be I'll repeat it's either going to be two plus a infinitive or four plus a gerund. Okay, that's going to be the structure. But please do not confuse and don't mix them. Okay, and what I mean by don't mix them, what I'm say, what I mean is don't um, don't be crossing them. So, for example, don't put the two plus a gerund. Okay, so don't cross them like this, right? Uh, or four plus an infinitive. Okay, that's impossible. Okay, so this this is correct but don't confuse it like I said before and write for example don't write 2 plus a gerund or 4 plus an infinitive infinitive Right, okay, so we can't cross this. Oh, sorry. Let me fix that. Infin infinitive. 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 Yeah, okay. So don't cross this, okay? That would be incorrect to cross it. Does that make sense? Yes. So like I said before, this would be incorrect. Let me put this. There you go. That's incorrect. Okay. So this is correct. This isn't. Okay. And just to make sure that I that you understand it, I'll give you one more sentence. We can say, um, for example, uh, a A ship, a ship can be used, and then here we're going to be using the we can use we can use the the two uh, plus infinitives for example. For example, we can um, a ship can be used to transport. Or for transporting. Okay. And then we continue here with the with the um, the complement for for transporting people. So to transport people and cargo over seas. Okay? So we can say a ship can be used to transport people and cargo overseas, or a ship can be used for transporting cargo, people and cargo overseas. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes. Any questions? No. 
No, no, teacher. Uh, teacher, in my case, my I understand the this topic, but my problem is when I try to use when I speak because I for I always forget use a uh, a gerum when I use the the particle for. Uh, it's difficult. I I don't know why, but when I when I uh, speak, hi, I don't remember. I don't remember it. I don't know. I need more practice. I yeah, exactly. I think. The more practice, you're right. The more practice you have, the better it will be. Also, something I forgot to mention. Don't don't. And then another thing that is wrong is to put these two together. I've heard many people say for two. Okay, like saying a curling iron is used for to make curls in your hair. Or a ship can be used for to transporting people. So for to is not possible. We cannot say that. For to, impossible. Okay, the, those, two, those two prepositions do not go together. Okay, for and to, do not put them together. It's either to and the infinitive or for and a gerund. And they mean the exact same thing. It's just that the grammar changes. And something that you that can help you remember is simply that the word to always goes with in, with um, infinitives, right? We always use the word for to with infinitives, but we don't we you never see the to with a gerund. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, and, and something oh, something else that can help you is to remember the shorter words go together and the longer words go together so two only has two letters right so it goes with a short version make four has three letters right three letters so it's going to go with the longer version which is making okay so that will that may help you to remember okay Okay, teacher. Okay. All right, guys. So that's it. For homework, what you can do is to um, think about some of the objects that exist in your house. What do you use them for? What's the purpose of those objects in your house? So those could be like things in your kitchen or in the living room right so those are lots of things in the kitchen in the living room they, they we have like, like lots of machines and gadgets so think about machines and gadgets in your house and think about what are they used for what's what's the purpose of them okay and i want you to write down um, five sentences okay five sentences i'm using both two and four so in total 10 sentences okay okay sounds good okay and you okay, and you can send it to me um through the whatsapp group okay okay teacher. you can send it to me and i will check them to see if you've done it about in the whatsapp group or your no, you can send it in the whatsapp group the WhatsApp group Oh, but if you want, if you if you're not if you don't feel comfortable sending it to the WhatsApp group, you can send it to my personal account. Okay, it's better. <laughs> okay, yeah, no problem. Whatever you prefer. Okay. Okay. okay, guys. So that will be all for today. It's been a pleasure having you guys. Thank you uh, for connecting early, and I'll and uh, well, I hope you have your a wonderful weekend. Enjoy yourself and try to advance in the in the platform as much as possible okay all right okay, so you, take you. care everybody thank you teacher thank you teacher good night good night, good night. Good night everybody bye, bye. bye. see you on monday <laughs>